Reality. UFOs. Science. Consciousness. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That might not be a real thing. The podcast. You're listening to the Hung Guy with the Fun Guy, <laughs> aka the Candy Man. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's season two, officially episode one. Uh, I'm sitting here with Danny D, Maka, and Kingsley. It's basically a permanent addition to the show. Uh, listen, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. We got uh, this. Know, this week was sponsored by NRG Tree. We're, well, we're always this, sponsored by NRG Tree. We're we're sponsored they are until our sponsor. fur, until further notice. NRG uh, Tree is a team of renewable energy financial analysts who collaborate with commercial and industrial property owners to develop their personal revenue generating renewable energy portfolio. There you go. So, in layman's terms what these guys do is they're just basically they know they know the uh, they know the score, right? They know the tech, they know the like the best technology, the best government funded programs, the best subsidized programs the, basically the best way to get you some kind of money if you own property they want to put an energy generating device there uh clean renewable energy though is the thing. what he's what he's saying is our brake pads are really cool <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it fair enough so uh yeah thanks for listening man check us out on the instagram right facebook i have a name for this episode all right i already come up with it what is it i think you should use it Vision Quest. Vision Quest? Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah. Loud and Swain. Yeah. Lunatic Friend. Dang, they got the guitar thing. Yeah, it's he a good to, movie. He has to wrestle shoot. He's I got like a, with the older chick. He's got a... Yeah. Ooh, you just stole my line, baby. Yeah. She... Uh, I, I'm almost positive that that woman played Sarek in uh, Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock, but I'll have to double check that. I'm might, not sure. Might not be right. Yeah, that's incorrect. Yeah, no, that's not sure. I don't think that L- Loud and Swain is played by Matthew Modine. Yes, and he wants to. And the other kid was actually a wrestler, and you can tell that Matthew Modine isn't, and that guy is. He's tall and lanky. Yeah, you can just tell he's not a wrestler. Like if you're a wrestler, you can tell he's not a wrestler. All right, Mac, I know. Uh, no, that might not be a real thing. News game this week. No, <clears throat> because my, there's nothing funny happening. That everything's awful. Everything's terrible right now, and and um, I don't want to do something like that where people are, are could die. So fair enough. Uh, trying to stay away from it, but I did. I was just doing research today, and there's like nothing that can be. I don't know. It's just not fun. The trampling at the concert was the last death thing you're going to bring in. That's the last that, one. That, that might not be a real thing. That's the last one. All right. That's fair. Um, 2022, put, going positive this year. Well, I'll tell you what. That's a perfect time to lead me right into uh, don't watch the news because it sucks and it's full of negativity. And if you're listening to this transmission, uh, you are the resistance. And, <laughs> you know, how about, you know, Send these links for the. We're on, you know, Apple. We're on iTunes. Well, it's the same thing. Yeah, we're on Amazon. We're on Spotify, YouTube. You know what I mean? Send a link to your friends. Be like, yo, check these guys out instead of watching the news for an hour today or listening to the radio. You know, although I'm sure people are probably listening to some kind of talk radio. Is that? That's I would say a lot. I think I'm the only one here that listens to actual terrestrial music radio in the car. What do you mean? People don't listen to it music anymore? Apparently I, not. That's all I Every do. time I listen to it, Dan's like, you're the only person. The radio? You listen to the radio? No, that's some music. No, no I we're listen talking to the oh, you're radio. You're talking about a broadcast yeah. radio, like 94.5. Yeah, right. 96.9, Kiss 108. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Kiss you're saying you're the only one who listens to that type of music. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. right, right. I agree. You know, sometimes I just don't, I can't decide on what i'm going to listen to and then i don't they know do it the for name, you but i don't know the name of what i'm wanting to like the song or anything i'm mm. just really bad mm. at all of that so i can't be like hey siri play this one song from this one thing gotcha you know so i just turn on the radio and i'm like oh hey i like this song. but i bet oh, they hey. have podcast radio where it's like they play old radio type stuff but i don't know where to find that oh but, i can put but wait a second yeah so, you can i don't really want to kiss 108 
has got to be in our neck in our region the longest running radio station i can imagine Probably. a lot of them are gone a lot of them have yeah. switched mm-hmm. frequencies yeah switch time slots right yeah, yeah. Like, like 94 radio 94.5 like bcn's gone yeah waf's gone waf's gone oh yeah it's been gone for a yeah. while yeah yeah what years. about rock 101 is that gone uh, that Ooh, might still be there. I'm not sure. That might be, still be there. But, but, it's, uh, but yeah. Kiss 108, it's been like a bastion of radio fucking mm-hmm. broadcasting. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. beep, 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 yep. beep, 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 beep. They're putting the signal out forever, mm-hmm. dude. That's the same motherfuckers yeah. work there and everything, like Danny no, D in the morning. No, I think his, that, what was his they're name? different people. Was Maddie. Danny D? Maddie. Maddie, 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 in, Maddie in the morning. In the morning yeah. I'm pretty sure Maddie might still be there. I don't, I'm not in the like 75? I don't, I don't listen to it in the morning, so... I'm usually I'm at she doesn't do I'm at night. I don't do mornings and yeah, I'm definitely me, not listening to the Me movie. either. Yeah. Me either. So I'm gonna do a song of the week and then we'll get right into it. Danny D really wants to talk about something. He he this is his show tonight. He's fucking running things. It's it's the uh motivation and goal setting. So But wait, wait, wait. Song of the week. I want to have a song of the week too, actually. All right, well I'll do mine you then do you yours, do yours. Yeah. Song of the week this week is a split skis. It's a split ski two skis. Oh. It's uh oh. the original is uh, Take a Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. That's a good one. Which was later sampled by mm-hmm. A Tribe Called Quest. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then that that song, I think, is called Can I Kick It? Yes. Yes, you can. Can I Kick It? And anyway, this is the smooth rift of the guitar, the boo, do, 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 take a walk on the wild mm-hmm. side. Man, Lou Reed's like not a singer. He just had a cool voice and would record stuff. You know what I mean? Storyteller. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, question on Tribe Called Quest. The guy that is the does the music for Conan, mm-hmm. is he mm-hmm. the Tribe Called Quest guy? Or no. is it Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy Dude, Fallon. You're thinking Jimmy Roots. Fallon. And that's, that's Roots. That's the whole Roots band. Yeah. They're, they, they None of them had anything to do with the Tribe Called Quest. No. Uh, no. Really? Where am I getting that? Oh, no, no why, why do I want to connect that guy to a, to a current show? No. You're saying Questlove in particular, the drummer. Maybe that's yeah, yeah, that's his, his name. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's your song of the week? There, my oh. song of the week. I listen to is um, um, "So Long and Goodbye" by My Chemical Romance. <laughs> what is it? Okay. I, it's a very nostalgic song. I know how to get for me her, my wife going. All right, we're driving, uh, and I just she goes, "You control the music." I'll just be like, "I'm gonna dip into her emo side from." 2005 you want to you want to turn the switch turn the switch and i just put on like <laughs> so long and goodbye i'm like what is going and then i just look it's over the one thing i can say <laughs> all right can you not sing on air please so anyways yeah so like that's i've been listening to that song on my playlist this week and i like it a lot oh yeah. i'll have to check it out yeah oh and there's a new iron maiden album too and they got a cool song called uh senjutsu it's pretty senjutsu. cool yeah they sound good what's my Chemical Romance? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're like emo. You've I never don't... you've never heard of them? I didn't say that. I just okay. want, want to make you, sure. You that... look confused. <laughs> no, no. I okay. just want to make sure that we get the right data. Okay. For the audience. Got it. I wait, can dig it. Wait. Okay. I can dig it. Yeah. Well, Again, there you go. We, we should plug those in from now on when you want to really yeah. so, thread that into so the So that program. was kind of a uh, movement in rock music that I didn't really, wasn't really a part of because like I was older. Like I wasn't in high school in like 2005 to 2010. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of the emo rock. Yeah. Emo- yeah. Emotion, and, and they stole, know. they took yeah. a lot of goth elements, but then they had a, a kind of a stupid haircut. It evolved. Yeah. Out hey, of hey, that. hey, hey! I like my haircut. I, I, I'm not a fan of the emo haircut, but I like the music. What is the emo haircut though? Oh, it's like a, it's like crop bangs. It's kind of long with it's, crop bangs. Yeah, like kind of like Bieber, but black, like jet black. But then you have to like spike the back of it. Yeah, spike yeah, the yeah, back. yeah, It's yeah. really weird. Asymmetrical long bang, but mm, like you had to, thing. you had to cover one eye slightly. Mm, I know John, a kid, John Connor from T2. And, and, yes, and, so, and bonus <laughs> points if it was black. So there's okay. a kid in my hair group that went viral because. He took a picture in front of a tractor because he's a farmer. He's an emo farmer. <laughs> and it said, it said, could an emo farmer actually exist in the meme? Wow. And he was like, emo, hashtag emo farmer. And we were like, this kid was getting made fun of in our group. And now he's like, 
he's popular because of that wait, wait, wait. online. This he's an outcast within the long hair group. Already? Yeah, because he's an emo emo haircut, <laughs> and he's not. That's not really a long hair haircut. So we're always like everybody's like, I think you're like 15 years too what, late, buddy. What are the uh, like? He, 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 no, he was, I don't he was know like enough. a baby when emo came around. So like he's There's just no like such emulating thing. it. You Who think it, you think he's trying to fake? No, the but I I always yeah. thought he was had some balls for doing it. Oh yeah. So so and, and he's chubby. You know, what, it does it doesn't look that great. But. What are the what, no, don't body shame. Him. What yeah. I, I what are the what are the fucking qualifications of uh, oh my god here it is to be in a hair group here it is to look, make it that's him e- emo farmer <laughs> wow that's tremendous <laughs> yeah I've he, seen it yeah his name's Bear fair enough hi I'm Bear but what I want to know is yeah. what what is it about his hair it's not long enough no it it just it just yeah because it's not a long hair you don't really grow it long you grow it like five inches and then that's it you crop it and that's for pussies. No, but I mean, if you're gonna belong to a long hair group, it's like it's not a long haircut. Join an emo group. All right. When I mean, you were talking about your, we're making exceptions. Potatoes. But you were talking. We're about... not like like uh, gatekeeping. Like, <laughs> like you gotta have long hair if you're in the group. Otherwise, we don't like gawkers in that like just want to see guys with long hair and jerk off. Uh, I think, which I I'm just, sure happens a lot. I just want to know the qualifications because when you I mean, last season you talked about starting a support group for little smaller guys, <laughs> and I said, well, what's the you know. What's the height cut off? And you said you got to be five seven or under. Yeah, five seven. Sh- shout out, <laughs> shout out to your homeboy Brian, double O three in Alaska. He's, yeah, he's five foot six. Him and his twin brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so he's in the club, and he also has long hair. Oh yeah. Okay. I haven't seen it, but he tells me he has long hair and a long beard. Oh, okay. That's that's popular now too. Beards long. Brian, I know you listen to the show. You, you better. How does he join the long hairs? How does he do it? He just has to join serious hair guys on on um, Facebook. Serious hair guys. Hair guys. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then someone Wait, will. Dan will let him in. I'll let him in. Dan's, yeah. the, Dan's <laughs> in charge. Dan's yeah. the, I am. the gatekeeper. Yeah. There's like, there's like 6,000 guys there. So you could oust Bear right now and be like, you know what, Bear? I could block it's him sweet. from the group. He couldn't it's even search sweet it. that you went viral, but yeah. you're just bringing the wrong kind of light on the group. And no, we gotta, I like him. We gotta boot I, you. I like him because he sends me messages with updates on some a couple of bands I like, like Alestorm and the pirate metal band. All right. so he likes them, so he'll send me updates on I like him. He's Jesus. fine. I hate, yeah. hate to hear what you say about people that you don't like. Oh yeah, uh, I what, tell him if he doesn't have anything nice to say, he shouldn't say it at all. Like eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Sometimes it's nice. I watched Bambi a lot as a child. Like, mm-hmm. the fuck when she mm-hmm. when I first met her, she goes, "I've only <laughs> cried from one movie." I go, "What is it? The Fox and the Hound?" I blew pulled me it right out of her brain. Out of my it Fox blew and the me Hounds. Away. Fox I was and like Hounds five. I was like, how the fuck did you know that? Yeah, I just know. And he sucked it out of my brain. The Fox and the Hound's a classic storyline because, you know, you know how many movies they've made of like, you know, brothers or best friends or whatever. Couldn't. One of them grows yeah. up and becomes like a mafia guy and one right. grows up and he's like FBI mm-hmm. and they're like, mm-hmm. you oh, know, yeah. they used to be best buds, but now they're grown ups and yeah. I'm a fox and you're a hound. Yeah. And yeah. We got to play our roles, you know? Yeah. Right. But that's, a, it's all right there in the movie. Yeah. I think it's a great fucking. That's when I cried when I found out they couldn't be friends. That was that was the you know there's a big thing about me. Disney not making any more 2D like I blame it on drawn Chief. films. They haven't made Chief, they haven't made like a drawn Chief film wrong in like fucking... 15 years. Right. Yeah. He was Chief was fed the propaganda from his owner that he should hate hounds and then yeah. he taught the hound to no he should hate foxes and then he you know yep, yep. he taught it to the hound. He got taught by the boomers. So that's a boomer fox, dog right there. Fox is, <laughs> Fucking, didn't, didn't the fox find like a cute little cutesy female fox yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think somehow I had a crush on her as like a four year old. <laughs> Is that okay to have a crush on a, on a fox uh, on a cartoon character? Totally. Oh, totally. Because uh, you little... like Jessica Rabbit too. Oh, ju- but Jessica Rabbit had it going on. You know who doesn't like Jessica Rabbit? She had a Rabbit? nipple slip. Oh, no. Apples. She had a, va- she had a, she had a, um, a beef shot. No, Kathleen beef. Turner did the voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Forget you got about that voice, it. voice, that cigarette voice. She's got a deep voice. I'm not yeah. bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got deeper as she got older. Oh, big yeah. time. But uh, unfortunately, but when it was in the sweet spot, hey, Kathleen Turner, you know what, babe? When you were in the 80s with Michael Douglas and you guys were doing Romancing the Stone and fucking Jewel Denial, bam, nailed it. Uh, you were, you know, you had your heyday, baby. You were beautiful and man, you were an icon, but nothing lasts forever. Danimal, what's up, baby? I'm dying to hear your topic. This okay. Week. What do you got for you? All right. So I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been talking to my wife about it a lot too, right? Like about, um, she thinks that now she thinks as a disclaimer, she thinks that I'm not neurotypical. So this is not something that works for regular people, but I think it can work for anybody. It's just fucking excuses. 
Um, no, Dan has ADHD, and I mm-hmm. think both of you know well enough that he is able, able to hyper-focus on any one sure, subject sure. Yeah. and master said subject. Ma- right. ma- manic almost. Exactly, exactly. So, so I think for him, what he's about to say is specific to his type of neurodivergence, yeah. so to yeah, say. Yeah. But I think it's good, though, because he texted me that earlier in the week and was like, just exactly what you guys just said. He was mm-hmm. like, I think this. And Kingsley said this. And, and I thought to myself, it might only be good for people that are like you, but that's still good because there's like a gajillion of them out yeah. there. So put yeah, it up. Because right. like for me, I have like depression, right? Yeah. It's so like I can't help people that have other problems because I don't know anything about it, but I can help people that are depressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. So go yeah, ahead. No, give, go me ahead. Your, give me your thing, baby. So this is... um Okay, so... When I add something positive to my life, I it becomes to the point where once I get into it, if if it's if it's positive and like there's no going back for me, that is a painful thing to go back. Like there's no going back. Like going back is just unfathomable. Blood in. So okay, so motivation. I'm talking about motivation now. Motivation's a passing thing. You know, the New Year's hits. You're like, I'm ready to go to the gym. I'm ready to work out. Then you get a little bit of discomfort, and you wake up, and you're like, eh, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. Or the food or whatever, or the diet. You just the minute, diets sound great until you're actually doing it, and you feel hunger. They're brutal. Like, cause like, you have to eat at a caloric deficit so you can lose weight. That's the only way to lose weight. No matter what diet you do, it all comes down to calories in, calories out. So, so basically, that's hard. And so, motivation's a passing thing, and um, you'll find it like in a lot of places. But the key is to just keep coming back and like callous your mind in a way, like. Um, you have a mantra? Well, no, it's just like, it's just like, you just got to keep getting up and doing it. Like, this is what I do now. This is my life now. This is what I do. There's no like, like, it's, it's like, okay. So like you get up at four, especially when you find motivation, it feels good, but that's not enough. This needs to be sustained. Um, you have to have like an unrelenting enthusiasm and drive like that, like, and like, you have to have goals, but they got to be realistic. So like. And I'm not just talking about working out. I'm talking about like guitar. If you want to do anything like in a month, it's hard when in a month happens that like you don't have a lot of results or, or like me at five weeks. It's say not going to be a lot of results. Let's say yeah. you want to start a podcast from scratch. Start a podcast from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It takes a few weeks so, to get um, into the rhythm. It takes a lot of long time. Maybe years. <laughs> Dedication, time. So it comes from like a place of want and need. And so it starts off with um, um, setting goals. All right. Obviously. Um no context to how you're going to achieve those goals yet because especially if you're just a beginner you don't know anything like you can't possibly have you could have a goal but a general it's idea goal. of what you general want general idea do. it's it shouldn't be a set goal because like you're going to modify it because it does it's not going to make sense in a little while it's like you don't have gps coordinates for where you want to go not but yet. you have There's a no general map. bearing of where you're headed right you have a general bearing where you okay. want to go now what starts first is research um because the resources now are like endless. Like you can learn anything. Anything. They're like yeah. back in the day for skateboarding. It used to be like in your late twenties, you'd be like top of street skaters. Now there's like twelve and thirteen year olds that are beating like the thirty year olds. So like it's really hard to compete with that when like they're just freaking amazing. And then there's more coming up behind them. And like everything, match at the gathering even. Like the young kids like bury the old champions because they're just sharper and smarter and 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 quicker. They've had and it like, longer. There's just way more competition. Yeah, yeah. And you're building off of other people's right. knowledge, right, and right? Techniques and strategies. So, um, you're gonna learn that you don't know as much as you thought. Um, but it's something you want. So you're gonna have to f- find a way to like eliminate myths, junk science, shit like that. There's a lot of bullshit. There's so much fuckery in every industry being thrown at your way for things you don't need that you need to fucking you need to toss away. You need to get rid of. And Minim- there's, minimalism. And there's, and there's great. And there's good. Well, there's good resources for like how to like know what's the right shit to do, what's not. I mean, they're still for working out. There's still supplements sold in like every store that they say like they push on you, but they literally don't have any use anymore. You're blowing your money. You might as well drink your own piss. Cool. Uh, so, <laughs> so like like okay like like they have this thing called BCAAs, blockchain amino acids. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. drink it while they work out or towards the end. Yeah, it's absolutely not needed if you get your protein for the day and everybody usually does when they work out so okay so assess your weaknesses and reset your short-term goals which i already said so like let's say give take a six-month goal six-month goal is reasonable i mean you'll have like big long-term goals in in your head but like six months get get set up get your research get your plan all right 
and um, be very specific and leave nothing to chance. You like you can't wing it on anything you're doing. You just can't wing it. It's not like I like I go to the gym now and I and I, now I notice that like I'm at five a.m. So people are pretty serious, but these people that are bigger than me, even because I'm still new to it right now, but like they have no plan in place, nothing. You could tell they're just winging it. So like almost everyone. So like have a plan because like like for what I learned about working out is that there's something called progressive overload where you have to keep taxing your muscle a certain way. And if you can break it down to a science that every week you can come back with at least a couple more reps or five more pounds and just keep doing that and that and that. And your muscle has to say, wait, wait, wait a second. What the fuck? I got to adapt to this because this guy's throwing a bunch of shit at me. I just want to say, uh, this is part of combating depression too is, is, oh yeah, uh, is it's one of the M's and I call it, it's not necessarily motivation, but I call it mission. And, and yeah. basically what I do on my phone is I have one for work. I have one for like life. Go- like basically I have different categories of to-do lists on my, yeah. on my phone. Right. And one of them is just simply called today. And this is help partly helpfully, a, a, a partly a tool. You ever see memento when like the yeah. per- guy wakes up, and he has to leave He's himself re- notes. Yeah. When you, when you're a, uh, when you're a hardcore stoner and you're passing out every night, you know. You gotta write just, some notes down. Sometimes. You gotta drop some. <laughs> you get some cl- in the morning. You're like, oh, where am I? How did I get here? What's going on? Oh, what? uh, like I came out of the bedroom the other day and my kid just burst out laughing. She's like, "You're a mess." I'm like, "What's the matter?" And she's like, "Oh, you got sunglasses on. Your belly's hanging out. Your PJs. It's the middle of the afternoon." I'm like, "I'm sorry. It's the truth of who I am. I love you." <laughs> she, she was like, "I love you too." And, um, cause I'm a night owl. I don't get, and I hate, and I come out of the sunglasses, the shades go on before I exit the bedroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to see any fucking light, but, um, on my you phone, are a night owl. yeah, but on my, like I said, I'm passing out when you're getting up to go to work out. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm not, when I get up, my first goal for the day is if it's an exercise day is the exercise. Yeah. Cause that's like, that's like and, the center and, of my shit. And I've noticed that like with, um, some of the science I've been looking into, like if you, but wait, wait, if wait, you wait. structure your workout a certain way, every day is more important than the last because you're beating yourself every day. Yeah, pretty cool. So what I'm saying is, you don't. We're talking about working out because that's like yeah, something yeah, that's important to us. Like, yeah. But I have other things on my to do list for it today. So when I wake up in the no, morning, of I have it all listed out the night before when I was sharp and I was fresh and I was thinking at my fullest. I've got really? oh, this is a good idea. That's a good idea. Blah 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 blah. And then in the morning I wake up and the list is right there and I'm like, go get it, baby. And I, you can't maybe do everything on the list but if you're at least tackling a few things yeah. every day you just feel better about yourself yeah. you're making headway you're achieving do you even have time to be depressed like like you can yeah you, you, you can, always have you time to be it. depressed yeah uh but what i'm saying is is that like you know you could set like a hundred goals for yourself and if you only achieve three you still achieved three goals right yeah so that's all i'm saying is yeah, just yeah. get what you can get and keep moving baby you know yeah okay so you use technology to your technology to your advantage like i said whether it's guitar or working out the technology is so good now you can track everything now in with oh, technology yeah, it's unbelievable and just the resources for like proper form on things learn you know everything like i've looked into guitar stuff this week too just i'm not gonna play guitar but i just looking into it kung fu and like or anything i'm i'm literally training myself in wing chun kung fu right now and yeah there's like difference between like a master that sees me doing it and says oh whoa, 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 you're doing it a little wrong let me correct it but like i'm pretty good at martial arts on my own yeah so. you're already pretty good if so somebody i'm teaching that's myself the basics of wing chun right yeah now. um some, okay, so some people say they don't have time to do something like this. Now, I'm married, oh, four kids, it. side gig, it. podcast, etc. I didn't have time either. Guess what I did? I fucking made the time. You think I want to wake up at 4.30 in the morning? Don't be a pussy. Hey, it sucks. I don't it's like cold. That. It's not it's nice to negative. wake up that early. Yeah, it's a negative word. It's not nice sweet, to wake up that sweet, early. Delicious. Yeah, dish. Get, yeah. Up, get up and set your day right. Whatever you do, or whatever time it is you, you get up. See, I have to go to work, so like I have to. If I, if I didn't have to go to work, I wouldn't wake up at four thirty to do it. But I have to go to work at seven, so I have I have to get there by five, and I got to be done by like six forty or six twenty, and I'm out of there. So. Um, how do you get how do you get people motivated though because like when, when you learn uh, well it starts with like motivation from inspiration too but like that's not that's not like sustainable like it doesn't last so like you gotta personally like like make right, yourself account hold yourself accountable and let other people hold you accountable and and if you can but mostly hold yourself accountable because you're the only one you have to answer to and the only one that's gonna fail is you so. Maka and I had a uh, professor in college Freeman. Yeah. The one in question when I was uh, on Uno de Mayo, when I showed up hammered to class. <laughs> <laughs> Late. But he, 
Well, then left drunk, it, then left early. I was drunk. Yeah, but we were together. Well, I'm we sorry. Were... I got lost. I was talking. <laughs> I was talk, I, I remember. I was talking to my future's daughter's mother. That's true. At the time. Uh, but anyway, they taught us in the class about intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Is that my nail on that right? I guess. That was Come on, time. you were in the class. Man. I know, I but I, I was drunk. And, and, and <laughs> it's just basically, it just basically relates to the, the fact that both are possible. And, yes. and we, we, we both have them in varying degrees, but basically people are motiv- motivated by either internal motivation or external motivation. Right? Sure. And that's what it is. It's always kind of a combo of both. One kind of the. In, I feel like the intrinsic has to be. You have the, to have the, it. It has to, to be the thing you have to really kill. What the you're external to do. thing is is one thing, but like I'm not like like what, what I'm doing right now. I'm not like looking at other people like oh man I'm jealous. Like no, I'm gonna do it myself, and I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life if I can. And uh, and you know I mean my I mean my heart is my heart. I mean there's nothing I can do about it. If my sarcoidosis comes back, it's going to make it rough because so, like even stairs are tough. But like for now, like so back it up. Yeah. You're in, you're, you're hitting the weights. I'm tr- also trying to make my and heart the, function go up. The reason you're doing this is to prove to yourself as well as this is on, no, the, I this is like, on the sound check. Wait, 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 so wait, wait. this is in your own no, words. I'm also a sculptor and I want, I want to sculpt my body. Uh, I want to look like a Greek. I want to look like a Greek statue. I'd like you to sculpt just a portion of my body, or take a mold of it anyway. <laughs> well, that's, that's two parts. That's in different. particular. Act. Both yeah. of both my heads to be candid with you. I want a bust for my face for my <laughs> future generations, and then for the women of the world later on down the road, there should be an option to buy like an uh, like a you know the candy man's like copy yeah. of pee pee. I know porn stars have done it. I visit feel like porn. I should join visit the ranks. The, visit the gift shop on your way out. Yeah, Danny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we it's on a website made by Danny D. Uh. So so how. I, I rationalized it at first to myself, like, I mean, I want to get in shape and stuff, whatever, but I was like, I'm going to, I can do this now. Like, I don't know why I've been wasting so much time. And like, well, you, you and like, I'm like, heart, I'm a scu- right, but I'm a sculptor and I'm like, why, why don't I approach it like that? And also I lost 70 pounds after getting off prednisone and I got down to 135 pounds and I looked at myself and I'm like, hey. I'm still fat. How is that possible? I'm 135 pounds. Skinny what, fat. Skinny fat. I had no muscle tone. So now I'm replacing and I'm doing something called recomping where I'm replacing the fat with muscle. And, um, which is not, it's easy to do for beginners, like, like beginner gains. Yeah. When you so first like, start. Yeah. So if you eat a caloric deficit slightly and you bust your ass in the gym, you're going to get muscle and you're going to lose fat. So that's what I'm doing for the first year at least. And then I'll lean bulk after the summer, but. You have other goals too, not just working out. Not you just got, working out. No. Got, we talked about, uh, you know, the fact that it's ridiculous to buy a house right now, but at some yeah, point. Yeah. That's like, a big, that's a, that's a, we talked about this too, right, King? Like that's like these are like short term so little mini them, goals. I put can, them on your board. Goal, are, yeah. Personal goal, spiritual goal. These are ones I can control right now. Physical goal. But the house Work, one is a bigger goal. one. The house the one is a bigger goal. That's it's it's a huge big one. Mac that, is like, a Mac is a homeowner, and it's now. behind it, everything. What does it feel like now that you've settled yeah. in? Well, oh, sorry, go ahead. You finished. Finish, no, Dan. it's just it's just it's behind everything. It looms that one. That's a big goal, and we'll hit that goal eventually. But um, uh, yeah, go ahead though. No, I was gonna say it's a. It was one of my big goals, and I got it. And um, it's not easy. It's it's hard, and it's um, and you have to learn. So, like, I think what you're saying about technology, and you can learn. You you have. I'm not handy, so I have to learn all that stuff. You do and have, learn it all, though. You do have. Let me get a little real quick one. <laughs> smooth hands, though. <laughs> Woo, baby, yeah. that was a smooth. My, <laughs> yeah, be careful. my brother has the smoothest freaking hands. You better watch out. I have ever seen in my <laughs> life. They say his are. Yeah, let me see. No, Aldens are way better. What? Oh yeah, uh, Alden, like, we'll have to bring Aldens are like I mean. are like I, I can't even. It's weird. I don't even like when he touches me. I'm like, oh, your weird hands. You can't be champion forever. <laughs> well, it sounds like we're dealing with. He a wants freak a shot at the title. So, <laughs> still, he don't. wants a shot at the title. All right, it's only one, we'll we're gonna in. have to get a microscope and compare the. He tissue. lives in Nashville, so easy. Close. I own a microscope. We'll be good. So listen, it's also easy to say these things. I'm I'm guilty of it right now that saying these things when I'm. F- Starting my sixth week, and I had three days off from COVID right, right. because I, I went Monday and Tuesday, and then I had COVID for three days, and then I got monoclonal antibodies, and I was back in the gym Monday, Sunday. I was back in the gym Sunday. But so it is easy to say it now and be like, oh, yeah, well, let's check in with you six months down the line. Check in with me, motherfucker. Roll up, check your, in with me. Roll up your sleeve. I don't care which arm. Yeah. <laughs> and give me a flex. It's, I mean, it's not much. I just, yeah. I want to see what I've got right now. Dan, that's like. Wait, double, double, double the, double the size, it's maybe grown. triple the size. Your arm yeah, it's, was was it's two months ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I got it down to a science this time. When me and your brother did it when we were younger, like we just lifted heavy King, weight. King, what's the a, uh, a few, whatever it was, 
what? a few moons ago. I can't give you the exact time interval. You told me Dan's got a had at the time a little bit of saggy skin on his tush. Is it tightening up? Yes, it is. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually getting a butt now. He doesn't have like Rick, Rick and Morty ass. He's filling yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, did, I did leg day today, and like that's that's one thing that like you even right now my motivation leg day is like. Oh. Do I really have to do leg day today? It's the like, most I important. It's the most important yeah, day to. of the gym. I don't want skinny legs when I'm done. I'm gonna have shredded legs and like. Can I tell you a, a gym story? I took Akira to the gym on Monday, and I think we're going again tomorrow. But she's been wanting to get into it a little bit. First of all, the second thing, I woke up the other morning. There was like it sounded like a baseball bat was being hit. Bing, bang, 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 repeatedly. What's the other morning? I was, what time is this? Yeah, like, like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like it was the day, it was whatever day we had that big snow day, and I just slept in or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. She's like, just Fuck living it. her life. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. I, she goes about her life all day. I'm invading her apartment by living there. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm hearing it for like a while. It's disturbing my sleep, and I look at the clock. I'm like, Ugh, I'm shaming myself out of bed. You know, I'm like, you're. A, disgusting person get out of bed and achieve something please mm-hmm. and i wake up and my my daughter's outside sweating doing wing chung kung fu whacking the shit out of it and going nuts and oh, watching nice. a, watching a youtube tutorial and practicing it and i was like i was like daughter you have earned my favor and she didn't even <laughs> she didn't even look at me she just kept punching it and punching it and she goes thank you father and i was like <laughs> i was like in the starsky and hutch i was i was like don't stop throwing knives. And the little kid's like, I shall throw many knives, father. <laughs> Do you remember uh, the other day I was I was doing some workout from home because of COVID and mm-hmm. Alice Lee wanted one of my, I gave her like a two pound dumbbell. Yeah. She, she's like, I want to work out. Da, da, da. She's all excited about it. She does like five reps and she goes, I need protein. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> so so she, actually she wants to go with me because it's a kid's room so she can watch. But, yeah, I used to bring a cure to the kid's room. But so what I'm doing is called aesthetic. I'm not, Trying Wait. to look like a bodybuilder. I, I want to look like finish. thin and, and yeah. ripped. I, I don't want to look. I want to look at the athletic, not like um, not like ju- huge. I'm too short to look huge. I don't want to look huge. I just want to finish the gym thing. Go so, ahead. Yeah. So I take her to the gym, and it's, we have plans to do that. But for whatever reason, I'm feeling like shit on Monday. Like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm tired. I've been working my balls off. I'm just like stressed out. Whatever. But we went anyway. And on the way, and I told her beforehand that I wasn't feeling that great so i was just going to kind of go like 60 percent, you know intensity and just kind of keep an eye on her and help her learn whatever but then on the way home i felt better and i told her i was like listen i was like this is a huge lesson on the gym and i want you to pay attention to it i was like if you feel like crap you go work out you're definitely going to feel better period 100 percent. and i was like number two if you can force yourself, if you can get into the mental like toughness and like commitment of forcing yourself to go on the days that you really, really, really don't want to go, you're gonna kill it on the other days that you that you want to you know right. that you actually want to be there. So you gotta like train yourself to push past your whatever it is. If you're yeah. tired, if you're just if it's a you gotta push it. You know you gotta push past your limit. It's a mental callus. It's, it's a, like t- a, it's a mental it's like a brain. Game, bro. It's like it's a brain mental. game. It totally is. Like and like when I um my bed was calling me. Yeah, I like when to I wake crawl up morning, into that thing and not come out. I but still I went wake and up in the morning. Weights. I get excited once I start getting my. I have like a pre workout um drink. You know, like a. What do you like take? A, um, there's this comp- there's this YouTube channel. Um, he has like six hundred thousand subscribers. He's like one of the most scientifically based um guy. I've seen this. And guy. Uh, Sh- Sean kinda, Sean kinda, Nelawani. And kinda short. Then there's Greg Doucette. He's like uh he's short. He's Jack and he screams like Gilbert Godfrey. Anyways, yeah, he's short too. Um, Sean Nelawani. He's like. He looks like he's almost Native American, but he's like a short hair. He, but anyways, he doesn't believe in dieting either. He believes in caloric deficit. Yeah, no, he doesn't believe in diet. Input, input output. output. Yeah, he doesn't even, believe in drinking he, a gallon of water. He he even, no, they don't believe in that either he, anymore. He when you get thirsty, drink, and when yeah, you're not, don't. Don't drink a gallon anymore. It's too much. I like so, that. So that used to be a thing. You have to drink a gallon what, of water gallon a day. Water. No, just drink. Just drink one. You oh. keep hydrated, but like you don't have to drink a gallon. You were just forcing it. Yeah, no. just forcing it and pissing a ton out. But anyways, he um. He he makes this thing called uh, his company Real uh, Real Science. They make a pre workout called Pure Form, and it only has scientifically proven stuff in it at the right dosages. Most pre workouts have like they're like sixty bucks, and it has like one ingredient that works. But then when you look at the dosage, it's like a tenth of what's supposed to work clinically. So like this one's not bullshit, and it 
you know, it's like I replace my caffeine with it. Instead of drinking a bang energy drink, I drink that in the morning. Was it like vitamin B and stuff? No, um, I don't know. There's all well, this caffeine that 200 milligrams of caffeine. All right. And like L tyrosine, L tyrosine and stuff like that, and like like um beta alanine. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one of those. But uh, so like I take that, and then I uh, protein. I mean, that's the only really supplements I take. No creatine because it would help performance because it is proven, but it can have hair loss, so I don't want to fuck Ooh. with it. That stands. So uh, I'll, I'll be fine without it. There's also this other stuff called ter- terkesterone, which is a new one that's really safe and effective. It's almost um, it's like an insect steroid. Anabol- you, it's on anab- it's on anabolic though. But. Do you know it was not a concern or a reality in my life until the other day? And I'm wondering about you. Is uh, you ever worry? You ever like accidentally or worry about accidentally catching your hair on fire? Oh yeah. Because oh, and done, in a tool too. I've done it. Hair goes up like. Oh, pew. I've yeah. done it. The other day, I'm very I was, careful. I was smoking a jib the other day, Avi, and uh, it was like going. You know, I was like, it's hanging out of my mouth at work, so I was like doing tasks and shit, and, and like I went to relight it, and all of a sudden I got a whiff of like burnt, burnt hair, hair. Yeah, like, burnt by my beard, man. I burnt a piece of my beard or mm. mustache like straight off. I it's thick enough where I couldn't even find where it came. Oh from. yeah, yeah. It could have even have been a nose hair or yeah. something. But I was like, bro, if I ever accidentally lit my beard on fire, this thing would go aflame and hot and quick and just burn my nose up mm-hmm. my nostrils. Yeah. It would be brutal. So I was like, you got to be careful when you got long hair. This shit you can catch on fire. Well, man. At, at, right at work, you have to be careful with tools, too. I've been bald see. forever. Yeah. So like to have any kind of long hair. It's not gonna, even it's long fucking. hair, really. So when I first got my emo haircut mm-hmm. and had the one longer <laughs> side bang, <laughs> I couldn't put it behind my ear like I was used to doing with longer hair and i bent forward to light a bong and it flipped into the flame <laughs> and literally crisped the, uh, the end and we had to like trim it because that's a six my newly dyed black hair was now orange and crusted and disgusting have at the you bottom. seen in india where they cut hair with a flame yeah and yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's they cut weird. it with like fire yeah they're just they're just a bunch of weirdos trying to come up with a weird thing for youtube i don't know I like the guys that build the wicked cool houses with just the sticks. Yes. And all. Oh, those guys are awesome. <laughs> Me and Alice, Alice and I were watching we one watch the other those day. Those guys are amazing. Talk about motiv- motivation and, and goals and yeah. creativity. They do it with the hands. Dude, they have a stick, a stick. and a stick. they're doing the whole thing on video in fast <laughs> yeah. speed. There's like no cheating it. I'm like, it's unbelievable. This dude just constructed a goddamn underground oasis for yeah. himself to survive. And painted it and shit. Like, they got the clay. <laughs> they got the materials unbelievable all. Craftsman. Making their own bricks and we shit. Should, we should, uh, we should... Get, where the fuck are we going to do that? We should get some of those guys. I don't know. We should find where they're from <laughs> yeah. and get in contact with them. And just, we should, I'm sure there'd be an email left and right because they're viral, dude. I think my daughter said that they keep them up for a little while and like they will, um, people visit them for money. Yeah, what well, we don't know is like, what are those things? Re- how long do those puppies last? I said, and like, I when said there's like the, a rainfall. I was going to say until the rainy season. That's probably as probably, long as yeah. they, you know, as long as they. You know, we talk talking about YouTube. We were talking about sustained motivation. And like, if you need That's motivation, if you need to like watch motivation every day, stuff like that. Like there are like also ex Navy SEALs, like, yeah. like uh, David Goggins. that like, he will like drive it into you that you are pathetic if you don't fucking get up and go. <laughs> like, he, or, or you can even do wake up calls on your phone where it's like he's like wake up you got 10 seconds motherfucker Mm -hmm. one two (laughs) that doesn't work for everybody but yeah no it doesn't it doesn't some people they need that though like i watch pumping iron a lot that's his style and but he also like if you if you can find the conversational stuff that he has it's pretty good yeah it is about he's not like you're a fucking bitch you're no because he was out of shape he explains it yeah before he was a seal he couldn't even run a run a mile and now he's doing like ultra marathons like 200 miles and you like, see a lot of people like that that grow up as kids that like for whatever reason they're just like way out of balance and they're not in shape and then when they get old they just figure okay so point in case and he's one of my big inspirational guys right who is um <coughs> ethan yeah. supply oh yeah he's crazy he's an actor ethan supply okay you would he's know 44 if you Google him right now, you won't recognize him. Forties is your best decade, so, I think. I, I agree. Me, he was in American I'm not History yet, but X. Forties is the best. He my, was my in. My name is Earl. My name is oh, Earl. Varsity, yeah, yeah, yeah. varsity he lost blue, a lot of varsity blue. I didn't lose weight, but Dan, he got Dan, jacked. Look, 
He's a fucking... Oh, good. wow. He's in great shape. Dude, and, he's... And his skin... He's, he must have got some skin surgery. He, oh, yeah. Big. He's got money. He's had some yeah, skin yeah. surgery. No, but that's but amazing. If you listen... If you watch him on YouTube and you listen to him talk, he's talking about growing up and, like, what it's like walking around, having people stare at you, and then, Damn. like, how, like, he would he would go to the doctor when he was, like, a teenager, and they'd put him on a shipping scale to weigh him because he was over 500 pounds. Oh, yeah. So, like, there was... A, yeah. In his motive... In his... um. And it's like motivational video that he put out or whatever. He's, uh, you know, shop. It's showing him going through the grocery store, buying fruits and stuff. I'm like, good for you, Ethan Simply. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, I got um, one more thing too, by the way. Hey, Keep got, going. Hey, buddy. He's a lot softer. Okay. So, but, um, go ahead. He, uh, he just, he just basically talks about, you know, the transformation that he made and like, yeah. uh, that when he was in, when he, there was a point in his career where like, basically if they needed a, like a big overweight dude in a movie, he was one of, he was the guy, he was one of three people they were yeah. calling. Yeah. And so, he, and so he kept yeah. getting these roles and he's like, they wanted him to keep going with the weight and get big and like, so unhealthy. And it's like, he's making money, he's popular. So he's like drinking that in, you know, and, it's yeah. like the t- and one day he just kind of woke up. That's what it is. It's an awakening, dude. You it's just wake, awakening. you wake up one day and you're like, people call it a midlife crisis. So they call it a, uh, they call it this, or they call it whatever it is. Like, I think literally when you hit a certain middle age, you just wake up. Yeah. And you know, yeah. you're like, holy shit. I was going to say, people people focus on the individual foods too much. Like, they have to eat to suffer and eat. Like, I got to eat white meat, chicken, and brown rice, and broccoli, you and do. that's it. Diet's so, important. So, it, well, the thing is, is like, is like in the grand scheme of things, your body doesn't know the difference between the macros and the calories. So you, you can center your diet. You still should eat healthy and fruits and vegetables and stuff, and meats and stuff, but you should unless you're vegan, but you should center your diet around foods you like. Why not? If you like fish more than chicken, don't do chicken. If you, So that's much easier to sustain than, because 1,700, 1,800 calories is the same no matter what you do. So, I mean, you don't want to do it eating Doritos. You could, and you'd probably lose weight, but you don't want to do it because it's not healthy for you. You need to get nutrients and stuff. But like, as far as like count, you know, like I track like all my macros, which protein is the most important. Like in fats and stuff. I like my fitness. But I get all of it. Yeah, That's my what he pal, I use it every day. It's so, so good. So I track. It's so easy. Like people are like, oh, you have custom people little get, workout. People get grossed out calories, by that though. Dude. People get grossed out by tracking calories. Like, no, no you shouldn't you gotta, wing it. If you, you gotta, wing it, you're never going to. There's no yeah, intuitive yeah. eating does not work. It's yes, like, it does. Unless you're starving yourself. Intuitive you, you eat eating twice does. a day though. Intuitive eating can work. It can, but like why not track it? Everybody's different, right? But I, much easier to track you it. will have better results if you track. Yeah, like it. I can track my maintenance. I can track. So if I want to bulk a little bit more later, I can put it up a 300 calorie surplus. Kingsley disagrees. I can go down. I I disagree. But you're not doing what I'm doing though. No, but even when I did try, do you remember when I tried to lose weight and I went on my fitness pal and I started tracking? Oh my, yeah, but that, I that, fucking, that wasn't very sustained. I fucking Come on. gained weight though. No, no, I know, but. And but then when I just you have stopped, to find, because girls have lower calories requirements, you have to find your maintenance and you have to find your I didn't deficit. need. I had to. All nobody I did was will stop gain, tracking. Nobody and will I gain lost weight on everybody. Everybody's because different. Because you probably yeah. eat more to put on the. That's what I'm. That's nobody what I'm can not lose weight on a deficit. You lose weight on the deficit. You lo- gain weight on a surplus. You keep the same weight on maintenance. That's how the science works. It's calories in, calories out. That's how it works. Yeah, but Don't there are if you're other, on keto, it other works other things. Like that. Other things come into play. There's you're being sugar. really aggressive. No, there's sugar. Oh, no, but if you better get them back. No, but listen though, you can get. You know what I mean. You can get sugar. You can get sugar <laughs> while you're on a low calorie diet, but it's going to be a lot of empty calories. So it's going to you're not going to have. You're not going to be full. What does that but mean? But it doesn't mean that it's going to make you gain weight. If you're on 1,500 calories a day, you're going to lose weight no matter what you eat, whether you eat sugar, whatever. But that sugar is going to be a lot of a lot of big calories where you could get more filling foods. That's the reason why it's not good for it because you'll fail. But you could still you could still eat sugar though. I still have some sugar. Like it's not it's not like. Like a whole soda is just too many calories for me. I'd rather get a meal. Do you know rather than a soda? Do you know what like, T Bird? Do you know what T Bird talked me about? He's into these social. He's tapped into this stuff. He cares about the social issues. Just check out his artwork, Doomer's Inc. Anyway, uh, he talked to me about food traps, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And he's talking about basically that there is a who knows how many? This is ma- massive group, massive groups of people out there that live in. Uh, they live in economic situations where they can't afford to buy food that's good to eat. 
So you can buy like Kraft macaroni and cheese. You can buy like McDonald's. You can buy like the cheapest food that's out there, but it's basically not good for you nutritionally. Calorie dense too. And it is calorie dense, but it's not, you're not supposed to like run your body on it. You need multivitamins. You need a broad spectrum of stuff to really make. No, of course. I, I tell you, I eat, I eat egg. I have no appetite because of uh, I'm always depressed. But with all the weed, uh, you'd think I'd be ravenous. But only oh. if, only only on edibles do I get ravenous. You like a good omelet. But no, I eat, I eat for maintenance, and I eat the same fucking thing every fucking day. I eat like eggs and I eat an egg omelet. Yeah. I eat like uh, rice and chicken, rice and steak. And you like that? I mean, I don't really like it. I just put it in my body because I know I have to sustain. I'm trying to like build something and keep something here. But is there anything else you like more that would have the same exact protein and I would, lo- I would love to eat a bag of Skittles okay. or like a fucking <laughs> wait, 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 35 wait. Reese's Pieces my, cups, okay, you know? My, but like, my I point don't. Is, I don't because it's like, you know. But my point is that if you have a certain type of, if you track your calories, you can account for a bag of Skittles if you really want to, but you're going to, you, can, it, you I, get I, more full off fruit and vegetables, I'm just, but I'm just telling you, I've you, I've tracked my calories, and, and and I know you're into working out right now, and that's cool. But I've never stopped working out, so like, no, I know that. Trust me when I tell you, like I've I've been doing it a long time. Yeah, but you could get cut if you wanted. The to. Like, minute you could get your body fat the, down if you wanted to. The, yeah, but that's all diet. It's not fun though. It's but all, it's all diet. It's all diet, yeah. and the it's, and it's it's, it's not just what you're saying, dude. It's you really have to get the right. Every individual person has to find like. The no, reason that I they think have a, to find their maintenance. The reason that I think you get in the like I, I I've been working out in the gym for over twenty years, and I've been telling your brother and all my all my boys in the gym when we were young. I was like, I think when you're forty is when you you're going to be in your prime, and it's because you you master the discipline of your own body because you got to. It takes like ten years to learn your body, in my opinion. Some people fucking get it done quick. Some people have better results. For me, I'm like, you got to figure out what routine works for you, and that generally takes three months. That's fine. I'm just saying that the, the diet part for like losing weight, losing body fat is is a without losing too much muscle or losing muscle at all or gaining muscle is a is a calorie deficit and you have to find your maintenance, which isn't easy because not everybody knows their maintenance. Like it took me a while to realize that my maintenance is two thousand calories. You're on or I 2, just stay the same right weight. Now? No, I'm on less. I'm on like eighteen hundred, but I'm on a two hundred calorie deficit, which isn't bad. I can handle You know, it. I do like nineteen when I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah, that that's that's a deficit. Yeah. But I'm like double your size. Yeah, no, I, I could I could probably um, lower it, but right now that I'm building muscle, I just want to see what I'm just I'm feeling it out too. It's so like I might lower it, I might raise it later, but I'm just I feeling it eat, out. I could eat That's a bag the of Doritos. Of the I could eat a bag of Doritos every day if I wanted to, and I would immediately get fat, dude. Even if I kept the calories down, so it's just certain things like I don't think so. I think it would that would up your calories. You you'd, you you wouldn't realize how much you're eating. Dor- oh, the bag, science out there of, now is a bag of like, Doritos is, like is, like is almost it, a bag of Doritos is like a like, like a, a big a, bag? Fa- a family size bag of Doritos. It's like 900 calories. No way. It's like 1,700. Okay, there you go. That's, that's <laughs> like, that. If you eat an entire bag of Doritos, you've eaten your entire caloric. If you just ate that, though, all day, only the bag of Doritos, <laughs> you wouldn't gain weight. I'm telling you. You wouldn't be yeah. very healthy, though, either, but no. you wouldn't gain yeah. weight. Yeah. You may not gain weight, yeah. but no. you know, your but cholesterol. You'll, that's an, you'll be anemic. Thing. Okay, yeah. like my dad yeah. has been eating peanut butter, taking scoops, oh, so and he's bad. like, oh, it's good for you. I'm like, no, 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 no. Peanut butter is the most calorically yeah. dense food. It's 200 calories. I, a eat, big it all, scoop. I eat it all the time. It's wicked. Dent. I, put it, dense. I put it in my protein shake. It's like no, two hundred. It's, it's like two hundred. It's one hundred sixty calories. It's one hundred sixty calories or two hundred ten calories, depending on the sugar. Yeah, but for a table for two tablespoons. Yeah. But there's tricks though. There's this stuff called PB Fit, which is a peanut butter powder where they remove right. the fat, and it's like seventy calories for two tablespoons. It that's great. It makes it taste just like peanut butter, and that's just like a little trick for keeping your calories down. Like there's little tricks, but like if you want to eat whatever you want, just. You know, track your calories. It's hard to it's hard to get motivated about shit you don't care about too. No, like, true. Like you right, have to care like about this it. year right now is like straight up. I'm looking you right in the eye. I'm letting you know. I mean this. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, baby? Uh, yeah. I'm not fucking around. Stacking my paper this year, straight up, going right to the top. That's all. I'm, like the working out is a, like I'm, I'm. That's part of my life. I don't even think about it anymore. It's just I'm doing it right. Taking care of the kid, all that other stuff. We got a great relationship. The kung fu things, like I'm working on that a little bit. But the main focus this year, I got my mind. That's my, my point. Mind, my mind, We're talking mind. about not but the just thing. The thing out, is, but the thing is, whatever. the thing is, where I'm going with that is that I, generally speaking, it's hard for me to get focused with that on money because I just don't care about it. I yeah. think it's fucking lame. But it helps you. To the other means you want to accomplish. Yeah, no. Also, side it's, effect of what you do. No, it's a huge, it's a huge, uh, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, I mean, money is like, is energy. It's the ability to exchange, uh, 
you know, I can I give somebody this money and they'll give me something or a service or a good, you know, and you can create stuff and you can do good things. You can do bad things. You can do all kinds of shit. It's basically a representation of energy and power, which is precisely what we do with it. Right. But it's hard to get motivated for stuff that you don't care about. So, Can I tell a story about peanut butter? I want to know what yes, motivates yeah. you. Let me tell you after a peanut butter story. After peanut butter. One time, uh, Candyman and I were out. Oh boy. I think we were <laughs> out and we were wasted or maybe just enjoying the effects of marijuana. I might have. And Chris goes, I mean, Candyman goes, check this out. <sighs> Cheez-Its? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he takes... <laughs> This is one of my favorites. He takes a spoonful of peanut butter. As much as I can get in there, by the way. <laughs> as as I'm in. stuffing my... St- picture someone stuffing their cheeks to the point where they're going to either choke or, or the cheeks are going to burst. And he fucking takes a handful of cheese and shoves them Stuffs in there. Stuffs them in. Just chews, chews them together. To a mush yeah. and a milk. Yeah. Whole milk. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's, it was delicious. It's delicious. It, delicious. it sounds like something Dan used to do. Though. Well, think I, about this, though. You know those orange thank crackers? Thank you. I, yeah, I know. Crackers. If it pleases the court, it. I'm mimicking. It. It I'm, it's sense. just like that. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's delicious. I just, but I've no. never seen it until that point in my I life. used finer ingredients. And I like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you know, I'm like, hey. I like those crackers so, with the peanut butter. What if we used real peanut butter, not dried out stuff? Yeah, and I like the dried out stuff too. Obviously, though. Cheez-Its it's are good. The, it's salty. Can we agree on one thing today that Cheez-Its are the, they dominate the space in cheese what crackers? What about toasted they ones really, now? They have toasted the, the ones now. The extra toasty ones. Oh, they've really, we have them at home. Game changer. So, so yeah, Chris, if you want to get fat, Gee. Take Jesus. some Cheez Its, jam them in your mouth after you've already stuffed it chuck full of peanut butter, <laughs> and then mush it up, wash it down with a, whole milk. Yeah. Just keep doing that until you get full. So <laughs> I just wanted to say that that's I've, a lunch. I have only been weightlifting for this time, but I've been preparing for for a while and researching it and following bodybuilding and stuff. I just haven't been able to it, do it. You've gotten into it before too, though. You oh yeah, way before. Yeah. So like, but what I knew before was a lot of bro science, which is like bro like science. shit that they're like, oh, you know, if you do this, that it's gonna do this. Oh really? Like a lot of bullshit and Trial fuckery. And, error, man. and like now the science is pretty really good. These oh, ha- could, have yeah. you ever had your testosterone checked? Oh, my, my testosterone's fine. Now. Is it? No, I, I'd like to get mine checked. I think it's probably fine because, like, you know, I mean, I, especially lately, like. I'd like it. Yeah, you probably I'll, I'll take as much as I think I'm good. you're talking about. This. But if it wasn't good, I would go on, like, TRT or something. That'd be cool. Uh, That'd be great. I don't but know. If I, I was low, I don't think it's low, though. I, I don't know what. perfectly fine. I don't know what they're putting in that stuff, but it definitely makes you aggressive because the bull shark is the most aggressive shark of the species, and it's like. Yeah, but it, a lot of times it, 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 it puts your t- um, testosterone to normal levels. That's all. Um, people, you don't think it's directly related to aggression? Mm, to start taking testosterone can be, yeah, sure. Anabolic steroids, yeah. They have these things called SARMs now, which is like a new type of anabolic, but it's not steroids, but it's like you can buy them online, and they're not illegal yet. Well, at least they are in like the UFC and shit, but they're not illegal, and they work just as good as like... This sounds like I need steroids. to watch my Amazon, which like... Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't like do something like that. <laughs> sounds like it's something I got to watch out for coming I, to the I house. I wouldn't do it like that. No, you know why? Because like I don't want to have to deal with like constantly like get, staying on a cycle and losing my gains. I just want to do it all naturally and just... I'm, just, uh, okay. I'm going... Good. Good. I'm, I'll kick your ass. I'm going on, I'm going on the juice... Maybe when I hit forty-five, maybe that's fit. it. Yeah, it's not it's steroids, not, yeah, or HGH, or no, no steroids. Whatever I need to get the results. Take, I want. Hey, <laughs> just just take straight up testosterone. Like like that's like the best thing to start with. Just take testosterone. A person very close to me used to uh, do some juice, and I remember them telling me one time, and it's uh, we don't agree on everything. Me and this particular individual, but they were like saying that they would they they'd rather live like a king and walk around like a king, all jacked out on on roids, than you know. And, and shave like let's say 10 or 15 years off the end of their life <laughs> and i completely agree with it so you know what if i make it to 45 on my own i'll reevaluate it at the time That's four years from now what chris, you, also chris. what do you mean on your own you think you're gonna like what if i, if I just don't die like yeah, yeah. Oh, heart yeah, attack yeah, 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 stroke yeah. i'm I, still in the gym at 45 and i still got it going i'll yeah. reevaluate the situation but if i feel like i'm starting to go backwards i'm gonna Take do whatever take whatever steps are necessary to squeeze t- ring the rag and get ten more years out of this get ten more years out of this baby physically from my, in my forties I'm thirty nine I'll be forty in November these are gonna be the best years of my life physically like I'm gonna wait f- when I'm by the time I'm forty five I'm gonna be at my genetic limit naturally I'm just gonna right. be it's gonna be beautiful we're on the air yeah can we do I have your permission can we get before and after photos let's say six months three months yeah yeah we will yeah we I'll, should I'm gonna rip my shirt off here yeah. in July. 
So, but I want one now to put on. I have, I have a. Oh, I'm not putting before. Okay, right okay, okay, okay. We'll do it out. We'll do it at the end. We're gonna do. We're gonna release simultaneously the before and after. Yeah, yeah. I have the before we, photo. We have the before photo. Yeah. I'll have her take a yeah. better one tonight. Okay. Yeah. But this isn't oh, a before. You're already. Five, you're right. So I have one that two. I took right before in the yeah. mirror. So yeah. I'll use that one. So that's it. So yeah. my my thing. We'll on, never, I don't want to talk about it again until we get there. My thing on goals. Oh, we're going to talk about no, it I mean, we'll, once or twice, I'm sure. I'm but sure. Yeah, but you're going to forget next week that you said that, and you're going to come in and be like, rah. Um, what I want to say on goals is, uh, Maybe. well, <laughs> your track record's like so far you forgot a lot of the stuff we said on the air, and, and uh, that's okay. Um, we do it every week. How could we? My, my thing for goals is, uh, you know, you're talking a lot about, and King talked about, you're kind of on the on the manic spectrum with your when when you when you lock on to something it's full bore. Right, her she has a lot of goals and she's meeting them. She's doing great, but um, they're more relaxed and like more methodical than like yeah. And you can prioritize our, 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 you can prioritize your goals, right? Of course. And it's good to have a bunch of them. But for me, like I always look at like the Olympic athlete scenario, right? You got this person, they've set a goal. It's four fucking years out. They're a hundred, and it's a lot like what you're saying. They're a hundred percent balls, deep, whole hog in. They're they're four fucking years out. They're committing every ounce of everything for four years towards this goal. For one event for one event, and not only that, they're representing their country, so that puts even more like added psychological weight yeah. on them, right? And um, you either win or you lose. Not everyone's taking the gold, right? <laughs> so yeah, you gotta. So y- even the people that win the gold get post gold depression because, because they're like because it's like they've, wow, lost, it? they've lost their purpose <laughs> yeah. they've lost uh the, you know either that or the energy that it takes to sustain that kind of burning desire to get this thing done burns them out yeah and they get fucked up yeah. so i will say to people that i would caution you with your goals to like don't you know take them like this is what i meant to say last week i caught because i i edit the show so i do listen to the shows before they go on air so that's probably why i remember them better than you if it pleased the court I, did we talk about this last time no no no. i'm just saying oh. i was just busting your balls about not remembering shit but i remember it better okay. because i listened to it and Multiple i did it and, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly i have an unfair advantage um plus dr susan from costa rica who by the way i think is going to be like our show's call-in doctor that we can ask medical questions about uh she told me i have excellent neuroplasticity but it, but anyway um I, would, I last week I said something on the on the show basically quote unquote like I take my life pretty seriously and I was like wait a second no I don't <laughs> I was like I was like I certainly do not I was like I'm I don't even know if I'm real and I like you know <laughs> I I don't want to get too into it but like you know the Heisenberg uncertainty principle basically says that an electron is phasing in and out of this reality out of existence and, and i think just this is my theory that 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 electron is moving through the parallel universes but at, at such rapid speeds that it appears in all of them simultaneously right yeah and if i'm composed of that shit we're, i don't we're, know what to tell you i'm phasing <laughs> out of this reality at such a rapid pace that i and you and everyone here we're not even here we all think we're this is happening but it, it's just this isn't ha- it's happening like a, but it's like over a, like a vibration yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly the, the dips so, in and out. yeah that's it i mean but it's such a rapid pace that you don't notice the outs okay so i don't take my life that seriously at all but i do set goals and and you know you're you not half-assed about them you can't I, no when i do set a goal i commit and some some i have a, a you know more of an intensity towards others but that's because it's more important to me right and you, you know, we've been talking about working out this whole time but i mean you know well, that's we what did, I'm doing. We did preface it at the beginning with, you know, it could be guitar, it could be... Yeah, it could be anything. But that's what I'm doing right now. School. Um, but when School. You, when you set yeah. some goals, uh, I'm going to quote Sansa Stark from uh, Game of Thrones, and she said something a lot, which was... Wick, it was very Buddhist of her, so I made my kid watch it. When we watched it, I said, pay attention to this line. But she said something to the effect of uh, she used to spend so much time... Uh, being sad about what she didn't have and she never spent any time being happy with what she did have. And so I think you got to do that with goals, right? Like set them, try to achieve them. Um, f- you know, go into it with the mindset that you don't want to fail, but that failure is part of success. And that when you do fail at a goal, like back off, reevaluate it and then go back at it. You know, if you fit, you know, figure out why you failed. And if you can't figure out why you failed, keep going at it anyway until you do. 
that's part of the planning too, and having a clear um, scientific approach to to anything. And also, um, when I say you can't be half assed, like also too goals, they got to be realistic. Like if you like for me, like my dream body that I would have, I got to set like half that. Like mm. for, for starters, get to half. And then I don't like then, mental. I don't like mental limit. I think the minute you put a limitation on your what you can do, you've already lost. It's the reality, though. I'm talking like my dream goal. I'm talking like like somebody who's like seven percent body fat, which I'm not. I'm never gonna do. But I'm just saying, like, like I'm talking like not something that I want necessarily. Like I'm Brad dream. Pitt and Fight yeah, Club. Yeah, and like Achilles when he played Achilles. Yeah, or something. he was sick. Yeah, or Fight sick. Club. He was sick. He was sick in Fight yeah. Club. Yeah, steroids. Shout steroids is the best. Uh, yeah, shout out. Absolutely. It's the best uh, Hollywood trick. Brad. Shout out to. If, if, if memory serves, Steve Oliveira, the little kid that wanted to be a wrestler that worked yeah. at the restaurant. And he fucking <laughs> Everybody did Everybody naysayed did him, it. and he someday made it. He I'll never it. naysay and a kid again who says he wants something bad. Shout yeah. out to that kid. He's never the again. second shout out on the show. He probably doesn't even know it. Poor yeah. bastard. Yeah. Also, I think you like with goals, you have to. You can't just set a goal and then go do it. It's like with Dandy saying, you have to have systems to yeah. hit that goal. Yeah, and it's and it's every <clears> day, <throat> and it's not yeah. the results aren't like instant. So like it's 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 like just every day you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Also, I think there's this like in in and this is a media thing or a marketing thing of like oh you know here's fucking uh re, this is what this Olympic athlete did and. Or this is what Kobe oh, Bryant did. That happens or, a lot where people are like, oh, I want to look like, oh, his diet was this for this movie. I'm going to do that. Or like, Hugh Jackman. Or like, Wolverine. yeah, or like some professional bodybuilder doing workouts and somebody copies, you know, Phil Heath on how to do workouts. You shouldn't copy him. His workout style is totally different to be a pro bodybuilder like that. Like, yeah. Like just the heavy weight they're throwing around. Like, You're talking about an elite level. It's different. Yeah. Sorry. What are you moderating me? Yeah. My show, <laughs> <laughs> our show. But we're talking on elite level. You know like what I mean? Yeah, Kobe yeah. Bryant. <laughs> I don't know what's the best of life. Top five basketball player to ever live. Yeah, I, I get sad every time right. I think about that man. That's crazy. Let's say right, he's up there with that that number. Yeah. How many basketball players are there in the world? Oh in my history? gosh! Yeah. Billions. Right. Well, you can't emulate him. We don't know how exactly, but. Like I'm not going to be the best at what I'm doing. Like that's right. not my goal. But There's again, never, you, it's never going to happen. I'm that's why all these right. YouTube guys are, are making money because they're not elite. They're regular, and yeah, then a lot they of them go, are. "Look at this curl that I'm doing." It's and if you do it like this, and they're just making shit up. Oh, there's just, a lot of bullshit. Yeah, a lot of fuckery too. <laughs> yeah. muscles don't know the difference a lot of times between certain <laughs> curls. Do but you like, do you hate you know. YouTube for an informational source? I feel like you trust no, no. the news. No, before I like you trust YouTube. I love YouTube. You got to sort it out yeah. though. I, yeah. But YouTube is dangerous. Of course, it's the, the internet. The news is dangerous too. But it's the like, internet, man, it's different. It's a different type of dangerous. You just gotta sort it out. You gotta know. What, you gotta find the bullshit. Yeah, you gotta just not be a fucking dope. All technology possessed by man is ultimately helpful and dangerous. In di- yeah, varying of in, both, yeah. in varying it's proportions. A, it's a double-edged sword. For yeah, sure. in varying proportions. Yeah, yeah. The news has transformed over the years. Do you like Carlson Tucker? No. Why would you say that? I'm asking him a question. It sounds like a, I don't like any of those puppets. Yeah, no. Because especially him. I but. don't watch any of these guys. He likes it's, UFOs. Yeah, well, he does I, that die. okay, that must be how this guy has weaseled his way into my feed. <laughs> but on my YouTube yeah. feed, I wake up in the morning, you know, and I'm like going through, I'm having my J, and I'm like going through the list, like today, right? Like I talked about earlier, what are my goals for today? Oh yeah, I got to do this, I got to do that, and figuring out the strategic order to get those things done the best, and what's more important, what should go first, right? That's all. That all that all goes into my daily routine, right? But when I'm on my YouTube, every once in a while, this Carl Tucker guy. Fo- no, is it Fox t- News? No, is it, is Tucker, it Fox? Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Carlson. Is, he on, is he on Fox News? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think he I think he wormed I think he wormed his way in there with the UFO stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And now his other crap is showing up, right? So I, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? So I put him on yesterday and he's going on and on about democracy. And I'm like, you know, I've been Greek, you piece of shit. And, and like, <laughs> right? And he's like, he's bad mouthing this guy and bad mouthing yeah. this guy. Yeah. And then he had like a video of some girl who I guess is, uh, I don't know, in politics because <laughs> she's she was doing a YouTube video while she was doing makeup and she was saying that um, that there's a that there's a, a statistical correlation, undeniable by math, um, that 
that women that put on makeup and dress up nice and blah, 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 and go in the office, mm -hmm. get paid more and have better successful jobs. When I remember being in college, they did a study just with men and women, just the same guys yeah. looking like shit and then getting dressed to the nines and who got better job, who had more success getting a job at a job interview. Mm -hmm. So like there was this, at the time in college, they had already figured out that better looking people, whatever society says is yeah. better looking, right? Because like Mona Lisa doesn't look good to me, but like when they painted her, I guess she was hot. Um, Wasn't it just you know, Leonardo da Vinci and drag? I don't know. I wasn't there, man. I'm just telling you what the man shows me. But like, <laughs> you, you know, it's like these, I don't know, whatever you think is good looking, but this chick is on there and she's talking about this and this guy's like shitting all, Tucker Carlson is like yeah. crapping all over her saying that she's like, I don't know, it was anti-democratic or whatever. And I was like, I, I know that like, I happen to hear from a reliable source that there's like a, uh, in the courtrooms of America, mm -hmm. overwhelmingly they did a study and like the amount of like male uh, prosecutors or attorneys right. or whatever, whoever's fighting who in the courtroom, mm -hmm. uh, the dudes will interject the women at a rate of a hundred to one. Oh yeah. Oh, so 100%. they literally changed the law and made, made it so that you can't interject, interject until yeah. the person's done, mm -hmm. which, is pro which is better anyway. Yeah. Because, like, even on the show, like, we'll be talking about shit. And of course, we're high. But, like, you know, yeah. I'll lose my train of thought if you interrupt me sometimes and then mm -hmm. I'm gone. So if you're, like, in a court case, like, that's important shit. Yeah. Um, so, but, you know, I'm watching this guy and he's, like, bad-mouthing this, this dame. And I'm, like, I don't get this. I don't, I don't understand what he's trying to say. And then he puts some other guy. And I don't think he likes the president. I'm not sure. He's yeah. not a fan of I don't think president. so. Does he yeah. care? Is, is uh, yeah. He, does he hate all the presidents? No. No, he's... He, Did he uh, like Trump? Well, who, yes. uh, who knows what he likes? He's yeah. a fucking actor. He's, just, he's, he's a puppet. He's Fox News, He's a right? puppet, yeah. yeah. so he's yeah, Fox he News, so he's very... Might as well be lamb, Lammy up there I giving me the news. He's going to like... Who he, on TV isn't a fucking puppet right, at this point? Right. Oh, I don't know. You if know you're watching CNN, which is the... It's the opposite end of that spectrum. If you're watching either one of them, you're wrong. Anyway. Yeah. You're going to be wrong somewhere. Or you're... Maybe not CNN, but definitely MSNBC is like the left is the equivalent to Fox News uh, as that's Republican MSB NBC is the is the Democrat that yeah well that and my and yeah, CNN yeah. Too. I don't think yeah and should, CNN too I don't think there should be either of those things I've always hated it but uh, but that's I what I mean all, that's why representing news agendas, has transformed yeah. so it's like all right you're you're getting kind of a uh, you're not getting news you're getting it with a twist of yeah. opinion that's whichever why, yeah. which I'm, is, glad, is, is, I'm glad we're talking about news even though I hate the news and, and YouTube talking, is fucking and I'm insane. glad we're talking about motivation because. My old man watches a ton of news, and I have been begging him for years. I'm like, dude, stop watching four hours of news and watch something comical. Watch something inspirational. Mm -hmm. Watch something that lifts you up, that makes you want to go out there and make you know, make yourself better. Don't just keep watching stuff that makes you feel like the whole world's trying to get us. Yeah, and we're all yes. going down the toilet. Yeah, and we're all going to die. I'm yeah, like, no, that yeah. Is, we are all going to. Yeah, die. you're getting but older you yeah. too. You're getting older too. Like, you know, the thing is, is with this stuff. fucking yeah. vaccine and COVID, and I don't want to talk about that either. It's just like it's all preying off the same old ultimate fear of people's fear to die. Yeah, and like, when did people become just so afraid to die? It's like it's gonna well, happen. I mean, you should still do what you can to prevent it's a, it. It's a natural. Yeah. It's a natural instinct inside you to preserve your own life and your offspring's life. But like after when you become adult and you've reached a certain point, like start accepting it that it's gonna happen. And mm. they, they, when you, when you have, I've talked about this on the show before. It's a control like, thing. I, ultim, oh, dude, I've talked about this on the show before. If you can overcome your fear of death, mm -hmm. you can overcome your like nobody can control you. Yeah. Because that's the ultimate control. Mm -hmm. Like even I was talking to a good buddy of mine who's in in. Uh, prison uh, who's a, who no who puts people in prison oh. and I was asking him I, I was at he you know homicide detective and I was asking him what it feels like to arrest people and he was like different different feelings different times like if I arrest a homicide guy that's murdered somebody it yeah. feels great because I can go to the family and be like give them some closure he's saying uh other times he's like you really, really question what you did because it's somebody's freedom that you're taking away and then I responded to him and I was like yes you're correct about what you're saying but the reality is is that society itself is a prison 
And we need it because otherwise the animals will run free and wild, right? Yeah, right. But like ultimately we're all in a prison to begin with. So when you go to jail, you're just getting put into a smaller jail. Mm. So like for me, I'm I'm not like trying to like talk like I'm hard or whatever because I've never been inside jail. But like my mental attitude towards it and towards going in there has always just been like if it ever happens, Mm. it's just like getting put into a smaller cell than I'm already in. And I'm going to die anyway, so you really can't. You really can't hurt me because it's all going to be over anyway. And then the last thing I want to say is like, I love these movies where the old guys are robbing banks because the older I get, the less the fear of like getting in trouble is. I'm like, what are you taking away from me? My yeah. 70s? My prostate's not working. Yeah, right, I feel right. like shit. I got to lay in a bed all day. Like when you're in 70, when you're 70 in jail, they'd probably just stick you in the med ward all day or you're yeah. die anyway, right? Yeah. It's probably sweet. So I don't know. Don't watch the news, people. That's all I can tell you. And then you got anything else on motivation over there? No, Rocky? just, just do what you want to do and make the best of anything you're passionate about and if you're not if you just like to watch, play video games do that good too, I love I to guess. play video games if you're yeah. trying to do something big though you need a plan you need a plan yeah you need a plan and you're you need... trying to do something big I'm trying to do something big yeah don't be afraid to take a break because burnout's yeah. a real thing take a break yeah well I mean I have to remind myself too like you know you need yeah. that time off a couple of days off a week just to like reset and like let your muscles build like cause, yeah. like yeah but even like you know like my kids playing volleyball year round and my biggest concern right now is that burn she's out. gonna not she's gonna burn it out yeah I'm like, <clears throat> yeah you, know, you need to take like i took a few months you off should of take school. three months off yeah i took a few months off of school i won't go back and, to the fall yeah because i finished at one i'm going to a different one but yeah there you go you're out of balance man when yeah you're, when you're not when you're burnt out you're out of balance you and i was getting towards that towards the end of the of this last year it's like if i continue and just go right into the new transfer to the new school You'll, then you won't go into uh, it, it at it, the right intensity yeah Can- right cancun yeah and we want to go to cancun you should October. no i'll tell you i'll tell you, I'll tell you what birthday. dude i went hard i want i want to close the show out with some good stuff but like i went hard all summer and all last year working and like same i didn't get to go to thailand because of covid so i missed like a vacation so like i I worked for like two two and a half years or something like that balls to the walls and then i went to costa rica i really didn't have like i really couldn't afford to go like financially i shouldn't have gone because of work and because i didn't have the dough like there's a million reasons not to go but i needed to get out of here i needed Mm -hmm. to get Mm -hmm. the fuck out yeah and as soon as i as soon as i stepped back And as soon as I had a little time to decompress and get away from everything, I came back at it hard and I'm sharp and I'm ready and I'm fucking ninja right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, thanks for listening in, guys. If you're interested in any kind of solar power for your house, check out nrgtree.com. Uh, your or commercial, or, or, your yeah, commercial or your industrial property. Yeah, yeah, they have industrial property. Any property you own, basically. They've got programs for the yeah. figure out a way to get the bank to give you solar and Everybody gets paid. I don't know. I'm not involved, but check them out. And uh, check us out on, on the Instagram. If you're an industrialist, you'll definitely <laughs> want to check out. If you're an industrialist listening to this podcast. <laughs> there you go. Or if you know one. If you're a billionaire listening to this podcast <laughs> and you're I looking we, I hope it. we attract one big client for them. That'd be great. <laughs> that I would know. be sick. That'd okay, be awesome. I'll, should we do that? Should we make it a goal? Yeah. Yep. All right. I that's like it. it. We're getting one. one big And it's one. a team effort. Audience has to get involved. Send us an email at you know, T M N B A R T at gmail.com. And until next time, guys, get your hoochies off. Later. <laughs>